good morning today i will discuss the topic the laws of the thermodynamics as in the study video we discuss about the introduction of the thermodynamics so in today video we discuss about that what the thermodynamics term, terms are concerned thermodynamics deals with the stability of the system thermodynamics deals with the stability of the system it tells us what should happen which it actually happen it is not the domain of the thermodynamics and fall under the realm of the kinetics basically at minus 5 degree centigrade at one atmospheric pressure ice is more stable than the water suppose we cool water to minus 5 degree centigrade well this water freeze and how long will it take for it to freeze is are not question at this by the thermodynamics basically the interaction of heat and the work suppose that we melt the ice that we don't know that at what time the ice will be melt according to the temperature so the system can remain in metal stable state for long time window pane glass is metal stable but it may take geological time scales for it at room temperature and atmospheric pressure graphite is more stable than not lose the glitter of diamond practically forever thermodynamics perhaps the most basic science basically the term thermodynamics is the part of the engineering science and basically it is the knowledge of all the engineering and scientists must have a grasp of to some extent or the other is thermodynamics in some sense thermodynamics is perhaps the most abstract subject and a sudden can often find it very confusing if not motivated strongly enough thermodynamics can be considered as a system level science it deals with description of the whole system and not with the interaction at the level of the individual particles the system contains in the atmosphere there are the number of molecules so it depend upon that how the molecules are adjacent or near to one particle and that energy flow is to be calculated by to the different different manner it deals with quantities like temperature pressure average or a large collection of entities like molecules atoms this implies that questions like what is the temperature or entropy of an atom do not make sense in the content of the thermodynamics td puts before us some fundamental laws which are universal in nature and hence applicable to the field across disciplines the basically thermodynamics concerned with the mainly temperature pressure and its is volume so to understand the law of the thermodynamics and how they work first we need to get the terminology right some of the terms may look familiar but the meaning are more precise when it used in the td and hence we should not use them casually the system is region where we focus our attention a u block in the figure surrounding is the rest of the universe and the universe is equal to the system plus surrounding so basically in the beginning of the thermodynamics we must know that how the constant phenomena according to the system surrounding in universe that basically in the universe it is a large system by which the all thermodynamic functional activities to be going on into the universe but in the universe it is a very large total circular uh, accumulation of the small small surroundings the system the one in the particular universe the more practically we can consider the surrounding as the immediate neighborhood of the system the part of the universe at large with which the system effectively interacts in this scheme of things we can visualize the system the surrounding and the universe at large things that matter for the surrounding 
that are the basically temperature, pressure, ability to do work, transfer heat, transfer matter, etc. Parameters for the system internal energy, enthalpy, temperature, pressure versus mass. So the surrounding water, that system block of AU, system block of AU. In this particular system, basically it surrounded by the water and a block of AU which are kept into the particular container and that universe is a large and this is the schematic of the system and surrounding. Open system, closed system and isolated system in the previous articles or previous videos this generally emphasize that how the open system, closed system and isolated system works but the mean interactions and the type of the boundaries as such the open, close, semi, permeable, insulated, rigid and isolated. The all interactions possible in the open system because the energy and mass both are transferred. In the close that matter cannot be injured or the leave, only the energy is to be transferred. The semi permeable only the certain size can injure or the leave, insulated, the cannot injure or the leave rigid mechanical work cannot be done and the isolated no interactions are possible. So there are the different different types of the configurations according to the isolated systems, open system, closed system, rigid system and the interactions. In the given figure that the mass of a body and when we given a heat tube and work is obtained by the particular system, so how the interactions will be possible according to the molecular changes of the particles. Matter is easy to understand and includes the atoms, soils and electrons. So in the engineering physics we can say that, that any subjected body uh, either sub, uh, substances or matter that contains only the atoms, ions and electrons by the movements of ions, electrons and atoms that the motion occurs because why we giving the heat to its subjected body first the atoms is to be going to be accelerate and that while giving the direction of the heat the motion of the particles going to that manner the energy may be transferred to the system as heat electromagnetic radiation etc so the causing of the thermodynamics which plays that the rays comes from the sun and <coughs> how it reflects from a higher distance from a miles that the sun rays come from the surface of the earth so the process of the radiation circles by the molecules that exist in the nature that the energy is to be transferred from one molecule to the other molecules and it direct comes from the sun in the 3D the two modes of the transfer of the energy and that uh, energy itself once inside the system the part which come via work and heat part which come via distinguish before the start of the process and after the process is completed the terms heat and work are not relevant heat cannot be calculated ex extremely how much the heat is to be given to a system and how the work is to be obtained because no process that calculate the overall heat structure from the above which is clear the bodies contains internal energy and not heat not work matter that when added to a system brings along with it some energy the energy density the incoming matter may be higher or lower than the matter already present in the system the process various processes in the thermodynamics as usual, I have discussed earlier that the five main processes in the thermodynamics, isothermal process, isoboric process, isoporic process, adiabatic process as well as, as well as the polytropic processes. So these are the various type of the processes in the thermodynamics. Basically in the isothermal process, the process takes place at the constant temperature, in the isoporic at for the constant pressure, boric at constant volume. The reversible process, the system is closed with UBM at all the times and infinitesimally alteration of the condition can restore the universe system surrounding to the original state. The cyclic process, the final and initial state are the same, how we are Q and W need to be zero. One is the main process in the cyclic process in the thermodynamics that 
the cyclic process that the initial point and the end point must be coincident and meet at a point. The final initial state and starting point met to a common point and however the Q and W need to be a zero. The adiabatic process, DQ is zero during the process because in the adiabatic process the no transformation of the heat is to be takes place, no heat is to be added, removed to from the system, a combination of the above are possible reversible adiabatic process. Temperature. Though we all have a feel or temperature like when we are feeling hot in the context of the TD, temperature is technically the term of the deep meaning. The temperature concern that in the summer that we feel that the outside temperature is very hot into the cold, into the winter the outside temperature is very cold and into the wet the moisture particles or moisture content is to be there. So the temperature configuration that feels like sometimes we feel hot, sometimes we feel cold sometimes we feel some moistures so it totally the thermo, thermodynamics temperature is technical term with the deep meaning as we know that temperature is a measure of intensity of the heat heat flows from a body at higher temperature to one at lower temperature like pressure is a measure of the intensity of the force applied by matter flows from region to high pressure to the low pressure that implies if I cannot two bodies A one being 100 kg at 10 degrees centigrade and the other B being 1 kg at 500 degrees centigrade then the heat which flow from the water body to the colder body but the temperature comes in the two important technical contents in the TD means that the average kinetic energy the constituents in the TD increase and it is the parameter which determines the distribution of the spicy species where energy is state available. At the block the 10 degrees centigrade the heat from the direction from we know that the higher the temperature body it reflects its heat to the lower body. The temperature as a parameter determining the distribution of a spike the species across energy level. Let us consider various energy levels available for molecules in the system to promote to at lower temperature the lower energy levels are expanded to populate it more as compared to the higher energy level as we heat the system more the more molecules will be promoted to the higher energy levels the distribution of the molecules across these energy levels is given by so there are the different categories different level and the different levels the distribution of the molecules that follows the energy distributions the few points about temperature scales and their proper properties that generally we discuss for the laws of the thermodynamics there are the four laws of the thermodynamics one is the zero law of thermodynamics another one is the first law of the thermodynamics then second law of the thermodynamics and the third law of the thermodynamics basically the zero law of the thermodynamics contains about the temperature based Basically, first law of the thermodynamics that based upon the internal energy, the second law of the thermodynamics that is totally based upon the entropy and the, first, the third law of the thermodynamics for the perfect test line that absolute entropy that must be equal to the zero. So, according to the temperature of the properties Celsius, Fahrenheit, Frankheim, these are the conversions of the unit when we convert the fundamental relation between centigrade, Fahrenheit, Kelvin and the Rankine that C by 100 is equal to F minus 72 upon 180 is equal to K minus 273 upon 100 and that is the conversion of the one form to the another form suppose that we change the centigrade to the Fahrenheit either Kelvin we put this value into the term of the Kelvin and Fahrenheit we absolute calculate the value of into the centigrade or whatever the value is to be determined but for the Rankine unit we must know that uh, for appropriate Rankine unit that is equal to the F plus 464.2 for the conversion of the Rankine that R for a height plus 464 value is to be added. The 
Celsius for a right extra the relative scales of the temperature in zero of these scales do have a fundamental significance. The Kelvin scale is absolute scale, zero Kelvin and temperatures below that are not obtained in the classical sense. Classically at zero Kelvin, a perfect crystalline system has zero entropy system attains its minimum entropy state. However, in some cases there could be some residual entropy due to the degeneracy of the state or at zero Kelvin the kinetic energy of the system is not zero, there exists some zero point energy. Basically, every substance by giving it some energy then at maybe place from one position to the another position either while giving the energy that it reflects its potential energy into the term of the kinetic energy. The pressure basically into the thermodynamics the pressure it is generally concerned to the bar into the pascal one atmospheric pressure so the absolute pressure atmospheric pressure gauge pressure so the different different types that the pressure is to be measured and the units is to be different into the different type of the unit pressure is the force per unit area we know into the in, uh, engineering mechanics is equal to f by a it is the momentum transfer the per unit area per unit time so the pressure is rel related to the momentum while temperature is related to the kinetic energy we know that in the engineering mechanics and into the term of the thermodynamics the mechanics is totally relevant to the momentum momentum is the change of velocity v2 minus v1 and the temperature is totally related to the kinetic energy of the particles so while the particles of the particular substance is to be giving a heat then the kinetic energy will be enhanced and at that same manner the particles is in the moving condition that pressure related to the kinetic energy in the this figure that this is the particles while giving the heat that particles goes into that manner heat and work work in mechanics is displacement against a resisting force that is equal to w is equal to f into d Already I have discussed that in the term of the engineering mechanics that the total work is equal to F into T. Work has unit of energy and its unit is joule. Work can be expansion, P, del V, electrical work, magnetic work and some form of the work. Heat is used as TD, is a tricky term, is a very technically used in TD. The transfer of energy as a result of temperature difference is called heat. In thermodynamics, heat is not an entity or even a form of energy. Heat is a mode of transfer of energy. Heat is the transfer of energy by virtue of a temperature. Heat is the name of process, not the name of an entity. And the body contains internal energy and not the heat. The flow of energy down a temperature gradient can be created mathematically by considering heat. A mass fluid, this does not like making fluid. Work is coordinated flow of the matter, loading of a weight can do work, motion of piston can do work, flows of electron in conductor can do work. So the work is to be in such a way that lowering of a weight can do a work, motion of piston can do work, flow of electrons in a conductor that can do work. Heat involves random motion of matter like gas molecules in gas cylinder, water molecules in a cup of water and atoms vibrating in a block of copper. Energy may enter the system as heat or work once inside the system. It does not matter how the energy entered the system. Work and heat are term associated with the surrounding and once inside the system there is no memory of how the input was received and the energy is stored as potential energy and kinetic energy. This energy can be withdrawn as work or heat from the system. Reversible process. Already I have discussed in the previous video that the reversible process at which all the particles move through the curve and it goes 
to the initial state and while it returns it into the original state then it follows the same path. A reversible process is one where an infinitesimal change in the condition of the surrounding leads to a reversible of the process. The system is very close to equilibrium and infinitesimal changes can restore the system and surrounding to the original state. If a block of material is in contact with surrounding that its delta is the small change in temperature, so T minus delta, then heat will flow into the surrounding. Now, if the temperature of the surrounding is increased to T plus delta, then the direction of heat flow will be reversed. If a block of material at 40 degrees centigrade is contact with surrounding at 80 degrees centigrade, then the heat transfer which takes place is not reversible. Though the above example use temperature differences to illustrate the point, the situation with other stimuli like pressure difference is also identical. Consider a piston with gas in a temperature P. If the external pressure is P plus del P, then the gas is in the pore. Piston will be compressed slightly, the reverse process will occur if the external surrounding pressure is slightly lower. Maximum work will be done if the compression or expansion is carried on a reversible manner. So, when T heat flow according to the different C diagrams, that the minus sign temperature that is into the lower side heat flow direction into this side into the reversible manner when t plus delta small change of temperature is to be added then heat flow direction into this way and not a reversible process when heat flow direction here is the block temperature is 40 degrees centigrade and inside this temperature is 80 degree centigrade how to visualize a reversible equivalent to a reversible process basically let us keep one example in a mind to how we can sometimes construct a reversible equivalent to an irreversible process. Because to the reversible equivalent to irreversible process, let us consider the example of the freezing of the undercooled water at minus 5 degrees centigrade at one atmospheric pressure. This freezing of the undercooled water is irreversible below. We can visualize this process as taking place in three reversible state, hence making the entire process reversible below. In the figure, P1 is the above case and P2 is the below line pressure case, water at minus 5 degrees centigrade and dies at minus 5 degrees centigrade. This is the irreversible process because when we convert water minus 5 to ice minus 5, then it, when it is in the irreversible case, then ice cannot be again convert at minus 5 degrees centigrade to the same minus 5 degrees centigrade of the water. But for the reversible process, when the water at 0 degree centigrade and water at minus 5 degree centigrade, these changes may occur. Reversible, reversible PV work on a closed system. In a closed system, piston in the example of figure below, if infinitesimal pressure increased, P dV, W is equal to minus P dV, negative sign in, indicates that work done on the system then the work done on the system is w is equal to minus p dv the system is close to equilibrium during the whole process thus making the process reversible as delta is negative while the work done is positive work done on the system is positive work done by the system is negative if the position moves outward under influence of p p and del v are in the opposite direction then work done is negative in this particular diagram that while the piston moves inside the cylinder giving a pressure P and it reverses the direction of the pressure by the piston moves into the against pressure. Ultimately, all forms of energy will be converted to heat. One nice example given by Atkins, consider a current through a heating wire of a resistor. There is a net flow of electrons down the wire in the direction of the potential radiant work is being done. Now the electron collisions with various scattering centers leading to heating of the wire, work has been converted into heat. A state function in thermodynamics. A property which depends only on the current state of the system as definitely by temperature, pressure, volume, etc. is called a state function. 
this does not depend on the path used to reach a particular state. So in the state function, it is totally dependent upon temperature, pressure and volume. This does not depend upon the path used to reach a particular state. The analogy, one is climbing a hill, the potential energy of the person is measured by the height of his CG from say the ground level, if the person is at height of H at point P, then his potential energy will be high irrespective of the path used by the person to reach the height. Path C1 and C2 will be given the same increase in potential energy of MGH in figure below. In the below figure, we can write that MGH, its potential energy and P, the peak point, the C1 curve indicates and the C2 curve indicates according to the positions that the path of C1 and the path of C2. In thermodynamics, this state function is the internal energy, URE, exergy state of the system can be described a unique internal energy, hence the work needed to move a system from a state of lower internal energy, U1, to a state of higher internal energy, UH is UB, UH minus UL, so basically higher in level to the lower level, the total work W is equal to UH minus UL. The internal energy of an isolated system which exchanges neither heat nor mass is constant. This is one formulation of the first law of the thermodynamics. The process for which the final and initial state are seen is called a cyclic process. For a cyclic process, changing in a state function as zero, del u is equal to zero. A spontaneous and driven process. A spontaneous process is one which occurs naturally downhill in energy. This is the figure of the spontaneous process. Here, the, when the ball goes into the downward direction, that the spontaneous process in which, in which, which occurs naturally, naturally downhill in energy, the process does not require input of work in any form to take place. Melting of ice at 50 degrees centigrade is a spontaneous process, a driven process is one which wherein an external agent takes the system of hill in energy usually by doing work on the system. Freezing of water at 50 degrees centigrade is the driven process. We need a refrigerator wherein electric current does not work on the system. Later on we will note that the entropy of the universe will increase during a spontaneous change. Entropy can be used as a single parameter of character spontaneously. So in the spontaneous and driven processes that the particular state where the molecules are fixed and in the driven process when the molecule is into the given position. Into the given figure, suppose that a molecule at the top of the position P and its melting of ice at 50 degrees centigrade is a spontaneous process. A driven process is one which wherein an external agent takes the system uphill in the energy. Freezing of water at 50 degrees centigrade is a driven process. Later on we will now note that the entropy of the universe will increase during a spontaneous change. At that point, the ball goes into the downward direction. The heat capacity. Basically, into the thermodynamics, the heat, the internal energy Q is calculated at for constant pressure Q is equal to mcv dt at constant volume Q is equal to mcv dt. Heat capacity is the amount of heat measured in joules or calories needed to raise an unit amount of the substance measurement in grams or moles by an unit in a temperature measured in degree centigrade or the Kelvin. This heating addition of the energy can be carried out at constant volume or constant pressure because in the constant pressure and constant volume, the energy and enthalpy is written as such a way that Cv is equal to del E upon del T at constant volume and Cp is equal to del H at over del T at constant pressure. The heat capacity at constant volume that is Cv it is the slope of the plot of internal energy with temperature, heat capacity at constant pressure, Cp. It is the slope of the plot of enthalpy with temperature. The unit, joules, kelvin, mole, joule per kelvin per mole. 
जूल पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पर मोल जूल पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पर ग्राम हीट कैपेसिटी इज एन एक्सटेंसिव प्रॉपर्टी डिपेंड्स ऑन अमाउंट ऑफ द मैटर इफ ए सब्सटेंस हैज हायर हीट कैपेसिटी देन मोर हीट हैज टू बी एड टू रीज द टेम्परेचर वाटर विद हाई हीट कैपेसिटी सी पी जी कर टू फोर वन एट सिक्स जूल पर कैलोरी पर मोल इज इकल टू वन कैलोरी पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पर किलोग्राम हीट सब स्लोली एज कम्पेयर टू एयर विद द हीट कैपेसिटी सी पी इज इकल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन जे पर कैलोरी पर मोल दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ओशंस विद विल हीट कम स्लोली एज कम्पेयर टू द एटमोसफेयर एस टी जीरो कैलोरी द हीट कैपेसिटी टेंस टू जीरो जीरो कैलोरी वेर लिटिल हीट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू रीच द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ सैम्पल दिस ऑटोमेटिकली इम्प्लाइज दैट ए वेरी लिटिल हीट हैज टू बी एडेड टू रीच द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ मटीरियल क्लोज टू जीरो कैलोरी सो विद द टर्म ऑफ हीट कैपेसिटी हीट कैपेसिटी एडवांस इट फॉलो इट्स यूनिट जूल पर कैलोरी पर मोल और जूल पर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड पर मोल एंड हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर द लॉज ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स द इंटरनल एनर्जी ऑफ एन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम इज कॉन्स्टेंट ए क्लोज सिस्टम में एक्सचेंज एनर्जी एज हीट और वर्क लेटेस्ट कंसिडर ए क्लोज सिस्टम एट रेस्ट विदाउट एक्सटर्नल फेल देर एग्जिस्ट ए स्टेट फंक्शन यू सच डेट फॉर एनी प्रोसेस इन ए क्लोज सिस्टम डेल्यू इज इकल टू क्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू टू हीट फ्लो इन टू द सिस्टम एंड डब्ल्यू वर्क दन ऑन द सिस्टम टू एंड डब्ल्यू आर नॉट स्टेट फंक्शन दे डिपेंड ऑन द पाथ ऑफ प्रोसेस यू इज द इंटरनल इनर्जी बीन ए स्टेट फंक्शन फॉर ए प्रोसेस डेल यू डिपेंड्स ओनली इन द फाइनल एंड इनिशियल स्टेट ऑफ द सिस्टम डेल यू इज इकल टू यू फाइनल माइनस यू इनिशियल इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट टू यू क्यू एंड डब्ल्यू और नॉट स्टेट फंक्शन डिपेंड ऑन द पाथ फॉलो फॉर एन इन फाइनेंटिस मिल प्रोसेस कैन बी रिटेन एज डी क्यू डी यू इज इकल टू डी क्यू प्लस डी डब्ल्यू द चेंज इन यू of the surroundings will be opposite in sign such that del u system plus del u surrounding is equal to zero so the net change of inner in internal energy that for the system and surrounding that del u system plus del u surrounding is equal to zero actually it should be del e above and not del u however in many cases k and d are zero example the system at rest considered above and that above is valid the second law it is impossible to build a cyclic machine that converts heat into work with 100% efficiency that the kelvin statement of the second law basically the second law of the efficiency already i have discussed in the previous video that it is impossible that any machine or cycle working in a cycle that converts heat appropriate to the work with 100% efficiency another way of doing the same it is impossible to construct the second cyclic machine that completely with 100% efficiency convert heat which is energy of rate of molecular motion to mechanical work which is is ordered motion the unavailable work is due to the role of entropy in the process so basically the second law of the thermodynamics based upon the entropy the heat is a wire that cyclic engine the heat is a wire for cyclic engine heat that convert into the work It is not be possible 100% because some heat must goes to the environment. So Kelvin statement it is not according to the first figure. It is not to the according to Kelvin plan. To the second figure, heat is a wire working in a cyclic engine that convert into the work, and that heat goes into the cold is a wire. Some heat after obtaining the work, some heat must be goes into the environment and. It collects into the cold reservoir. Another statement of the second law, the Clausius statement. How does the how does not flow from a colder body to a hotter body without a concomitant change outside of the two bodies? Clausius statement of the second law. The automatically implies that the spontaneous direction of the flow flow of heat is from a hotter body to a colder body. The Kelvin and Clausius. of the second law are equivalent if we violate kelvin statement then we will automatically violate the clausius statement statement of the second law so this emphasizes that the kelvin and clausius statements of the second law are equivalent both are interrelated to each other if we violate any one statement then automatically the second 
लॉज जो है वो अपना स्टेटमेंट वायलेट्स होगा द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ कैलविन प्लस क्लासेस स्टेटमेंट इज द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वाई वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ द थर्मोडाइनमिक्स बोर्ड कैलविन स्टेटमेंट एंड क्लासेस स्टेटमेंट विल बी कंसिडर्ड बिकॉज विदाउट ए सिंगल स्टेटमेंट दिस लॉ सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स विल नॉट बी एप्लेटेड The entropy of a closed system will increase during any spontaneous change. If we consider the universe to be a closed system without proof, then the entropy of the universe will increase during a, any spontaneous change process. You may want to jump to chapter on equilibrium if about entropy of the first. In basically, without knowing the entropy significance. Cannot understand that how the second law of thermodynamics is studied. So, while studying this, the classes statement and Kelvin statement, we cannot remove how to entropy significance related to classes and Kelvin statement. The efficiency of a heat engine. The efficiency of a heat engine is the amount of work output divided by the amount of heat. The efficiency of heat engine it means that work output upon work input. This efficiency depends only on the ratio of the temperature of the sink to the temperature of the source. The maximum efficiency achievable is given by the formula below. It means that the net efficiency of the heat engine is equal to work done upon heat supply. This is surprising as there is no mention of the medium of the system or its properties. The formulas has only the temperatures and the temperature of the sink seems to play a major role as the presence of the sink is usually not interrelation of or obvious in the steam engine sink is the air around the engine and source and the steam engine. The important message sink is important as the source. To increase the maximum possible efficiency of a heat engine, either the, the temperature of the source has to be increased or the temperature of the sink has to be decreased. So, to increase or enhance the efficiency of the heat engine, we leave the two parameters. We will go for the temperature to the sink or temperature to the source. We increase the source temperature, either sink temperature. So, efficiency of heat engine or output to the heat input, this formula will be. Efficiency of heat engine is equal to work output upon heat input. Efficiency of engine that is equal to one minus T sink upon T source. Classes statement of the second law: Heat cannot spontaneously flow from a cold body to a hot body. To make heat flow from a cold body to a hot body, there must be a a compelling change elsewhere has to be done to achieve this. What is the difference between the heat engine and work engine the heat engine and work engine actually both the engines we are going to describe here are usually known as the heat engine either we can say work engine or heat engine we are differentiating two types of engine to see which one produces work and which are actually transferred heat in the heat engine it is the temperature of the cold body tends to zero kelvin more and more work has to be done to transfer the heat from the cold body to the hot body In the cyclic engine, the work engine like a steam engine and the heat engine like a refrigerator. Already I have been discussed that for the heat engine it work as for the work engine and for the heat engine like as a refrigerator. The main objective here is to produce work. The main objective here to transfer heat from a cold body to the hot body. We can say that the heat is required that the heat. That is transferred to the cycle engine, and work is to be obtained. This of the heat goes to the environment or goes to the colder body. But for the refrigerator, from the cold body, the heat is to be tra transferred to the cycle engine. Either we can say that the pump work must be given so that the from lower body, when the transfer of the heat, it is not be possible without adding the external work. The third law of thermodynamics. For the substances in internal equilibrium and the cooling and isothermal process, the entropy changes goes to zero. The zero as T in Kelvin goes to zero. Limit T tends to zero. Del S is equal to zero. It 
in that the change of entropy for the absolute crystalline structure for the third order thermodynamics it is based upon pure substance and the mixture close to zero kelvin the molecular motion have to be related using quantum mechanics still it is found that quantum ideal gas will be the third law phenomenological description of the third law there does not exist any finite sequences of the cyclic process which can cool a body to zero kelvin so for perfectly crystalline structure the net change of entropy will be zero ideal gas for perfect gas and imperfect gas we know that fundamental pv is equal to n r t to understand the basics of it we rely on simple test bed system in cheating on such system the ideal gas in an ideal gas the molecules do not interact with each other normal gas come closest to the temperature and ideal gas equation that is pv is equal to n r t as the molecules of a ideal gas do not interact with each other the internal energy of the system is expected to not depend on the volume of the system a gas which obeys both the above equation is called as the perfect gas equation internal energy t and v u is the function of temperature and volume for a perfect gas u is the function of room temperature the first law says you cannot get the second law says you can at best break even plus that to at zero kelvin the third law says that zero kelvin is unattainable what is the difference the state of this quantity is like t u s h a n g another two function of the helmholtz function at the gibbs function at helmholtz function can be written as h that is equal to u minus t s and this function is equal to g that is h minus t s and helmholtz function may be written as f is equal to u minus t s what happens when we mix two elements says that ag and au the two crystals will be mixed when we mix the two different elements a and b the stable phase will be that with lowest energy there are three positions here the one is the phase separation and another one is the formation of solid solution and then it is in the compound in formation in the phase separation a and b do not want to talk to each other in the formation of solid solution a and b do not care about their environment and in the third compound formation a and b perfect each other's environment in a compound that each one of the components are fixed to their sub lattices and hence the configuration entropy of the compound is zero this is true in the case of a complete phase separation as well the configuration entropy is zero the solid solution is also called as a disorder or solid solution in which <coughs> case each component is randomly occupies a lattice point without any preference in practice there might be some tendency for ordering compound formation or clustering and that case the random configuration assumptions will be violated the gibbs free energy change in mixing del g mix is equal to g mix del g mix state minus g unmixed state because the gibbs function that indicates that it is the change of that mixing of the two different substances either two different elements the gain plan is in find these numbers especially del h mixing because when we mix any two different types of the elements that the properties will be enhanced or decreased that is depend upon the type of the elements the various models are used for the purpose and that can be quite confusing basically each of the models come with their own package or assumptions hence approximations the simple model of the mixing and the formulation of the ideal solution in an ideal solution a minus b bonds are energetically different from the a to a or b to b bonds this implies that del h maximum is equal to the that del h maximum is equal to zero if del h max is not equal to zero which is equally found in practice the mixing process is endo endothermic and exothermic then we need a more realistic completions of del h mix one of the popular modes is the regular solution model which is based on the posich chemical approach in real life the following factors come into the picture which can lead to substantial derivation from the sum of the 
model is considered ordinary if LH mix is very negative clustering leading to the deviation from the random configuration model strain in the lattice due to size differences between the atoms and the substantially size difference leading to the formation of a interinitial solid solution regular solutions model basically quasi chemically approach the regular solution models make the following assumption the enthalpy of mixing is only due to the nearest neighborhood atoms volume a and b per mole is the same and there is no volume change due to the mixing process and third one is the points to above also implies that there is no strain in lattice so e solution is ne plus ne plus ne for aa to ab for to and pb so for the mixing of two to three elements that the e solutions for that where if number of aa bonds is naa a bb bonds is nbb and number of a and b bond that is nab and the corresponding bond synergy is given by e a a e b b and e a b so the internal energy of the total solution is molecules n e e into e plus n b b into e plus n a b b into e a b the less mix is equal to n a b into e where e is equal to e a b these scenarios are possible regarding the sign of e sign of e e either lesser lesser than zero either equal to zero either greater than zero del h mix negative hoga ya zero hoga ya positive hoga agar it will be negative ab bonds are perfect over a agar zero hoga then it is ideal solution and agar greater hoga positive then it is less effort these are the graph which indicates that the mixing of the two different elements that del g mix gets more negative with increasing the complexity and h it mix minus t del s are both negative and del g mix is always negative these are the mixing of the two different endothermic and exothermic graph okay so in this video we particular discuss about the mixing of the two or three different elements the laws of the thermodynamics first law thermodynamics second law third law of the thermodynamics and how the thermodynamics deals with the pressure temperature and volume the work done the process property the system surrounding and boundary so into the in starting part the introduction of the thermodynamics generally plays the role of how the overall configurations that deals from energy heat and work is to be done for the different different processes thank you